Hello there, people! What's up? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Or am I? I don't know. I'm really weird today. Just ignore me. So today, we are talking about a book. Yes, I'm doing my first book review, and it is about probably one of my favorite trilogies that I've ever read in my entire life. It's the Selection Series by Kiera Cass, and here is the last book in the series. This is The One. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. I had to buy the last one because it was 20% off at Target, and I couldn't wait any longer, so kind of went out and bought it. And I'll finish the series later. So what I did with the, uh, the Hunger Games, I bought the last two books, and I had to go back and buy the first one. I'm on the struggle bus, people. Um, this is going to be filled with spoilers. If you haven't read the book, go away, because he... Hmm. So I'm talking about kind of like all three books in one review, because that makes my life easier, and I don't want to do three book reviews, because I should have done it when it was like coming out, but I didn't read it when it first came out. Goodbye, if you haven't read the selection series, go and read it and come back because I promise you, you will not regret it because it's so good. So, if you have read the book and you are still here, welcome. First thing we got to address is the America, Aspen, and Maxon love triangle because it's the main plot. It's the main plot. With the love triangle, I was frustrated for book one because she was stupid and she couldn't get over Aspen. I was a little mad at her in book two because she was still in love with with um, Aspen and I was like choose Maxim because he grows on you. He's so cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. He has the cutest little personality. I want a boy to just like be a photographer and then he takes pictures of like me and puts them up on his phone on a collage. I think that, mm, it's my dream. I'm gonna, yeah, that would make the perfect boyfriend who just like does that because you're so sweet. Why, like, so the love triangle was really frustrating because I didn't like Aspen. I thought he was horrible. He was just like, dumped her and then came to her goodbye with his arms around another woman. You don't do that. Not to my America. Um, America is like perfection. Uh, except she makes me really angry sometimes. Uh, ooh, just sometimes she makes the wrong decision and I just want to punch her in the face. But I don't because I love her. Kira Cass wrote, like, all these characters so, like, you just love them. You, you can't help it. It's just perfection. Perfection. <sighs> anyway, it really, it was really frustrating because even till, like, the end of the book, we never really, she, she was still, like, bouncing back and forth from boy to boy, but to boy to boy to boy to boy. I was just like, okay. Oh. Oh. Sure. Just keep breaking hearts go right ahead I like the ending though I'm glad that she decided to marry Maxon a person that would have been my choice that would have been my choice from the beginning like no mm -mm, I don't even care if I had another guy home if I came there and I saw that prince and how adorable he is I'd fall in love immediately and I'd be like oh you're so sweet are you really gonna pick me your perfection like literally that would be me because like if I I'm not gonna honestly no matter if like I am in love with this guy I'm not gonna wait around for him like that that don't happen no I don't like to make love complicated authors do I'm a writer though to go into the Aspen and Lucy situation because what the heck I don't like to use foul language so I'm just gonna say what in the world totally didn't expect that the Lucy Aspen thing what what it just blew my mind I was like when did this happen 
Weren't you just like wanting her two seconds ago and now you're on Lucy and Lucy is the sweetest little cupcake in the world? What? Explain to me. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute though. But I don't think there was enough development for me to get it. Because it kind of happened towards the end of the story and it made me... I just wasn't expecting it. And then Aspen walks her down the stinking aisle. I'm just like, I understand your father's not there, but it's just a little, it's kind of awkward. To me, that'd be a little awkward. I'd be like, hmm, hmm, hmm. But then again, after what they've been through, I think it's kind of sweet. I think it's, it, it did work in the end. Um, it just was really weird to read at the beginning. <sighs> We hated Celeste because she was manipulative and horrible. She was the typical mean girl in every story. And then book three comes. Magically, she's super duper nice. I was so confused. Like, what in the world is going on? But I loved it. I think that, like, her change, her mindset change really helped. Because I started to like her and she started to kind of become herself because I think she was still trying to find herself when she entered this competition and she was trying to find herself with Maxon when it really didn't work out. Like it wasn't something that was meant for her. So I loved, I loved it. I loved her. Like I honestly thought that she finally was coming to her own and she was really good. And then Kira Cass. Why? 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 Just tell me why you had to put in that one sentence that killed off Celeste. Like, why? Because literally sitting quiet in my living room, reading my book, it's all quiet, and all of a sudden it's just like, <gasps> no, out of me. And my mom was like, what happened? I was... I was very emotional. I'm pretty sure I started tearing up because you go and kill one of the coolest characters now because honestly, she she became, she changed and I liked the change and then you kill her and then there's like an empty spot at the wedding. <sighs> Rest in peace, Celeste. Next is Marley, because I wanted more Marley and her husband, Carter, I think it is. I don't remember. I don't like what happened to Marley in the, I think it was the second book. I don't think it was the first. I'm, who knows. I was really sad when that happened. I'm like, no, no, no. I was, it was kind of sad because she was so sweet like she was america's best friend and that was america's first kind of like female friend i think i don't really think she's had many female friends in her lifetime so it's kind of sweet but in the end i think it worked out for her um because she got her man of her dreams and she was living a life with him even though it wasn't the ideal life in the castle but who cares i think she had a she ended up pretty good. I mean, she was the bridesmaid of the new queen of Ilya. Life can't get better. Next is Chris. I loved the twist of insanity that came with it. I was like, mm. I was not expecting for America to pull her aside and be like, you're a northern rebel. I didn't even know she was a northern rebel. I didn't even see that coming. What? I think it was a pretty cool twist. Pretty interesting twist. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Speaking of rebels, I love the twist with the Northern Rebels. That they actually wanted to help with defeating the Southern Rebels. They actually wanted to be there. They wanted to help. They wanted to defend the kingdom. Is that a kingdom? We'll just say it's kingdom. It was it was really cool. I love that it was like a descendant of like the man himself, George Ilya. I Ilya Ilya Ilya. Um, I struggle with 
names like that. But it's just pretty cool that they, um, they want to be friends and that they want to actually help the kingdom. Yeah. And speaking of Northern Rebels, America's father being one was not a twist of fate that I thought was gonna happen. What? What? I honestly cannot believe that that happened. That, and then this, the meaning of her name, like, what? Totally unexpected, totally crazy, D like, oh my goodness. <sighs> I was, it was just very unexpected. America, your father was a genius. Honestly, did not expect him to. I thought he was just a really good father. He was super nice. He approved of Maxon. Did I, I was like, cool, this is a cool dad. And then he's a northern rebel. I'm like, oh my gosh. Everything has fallen into place. I honestly love the last book. I think the best. Because the story wrapped up. We got to know what happened. We got a wedding. It's just, it's fantastic. It, I liked it. I was not happy because didn't both of the king and the queen die? I I think I'm right. I think I'm right. I'm, I have to check this. I think, um, yeah, you're still married. Mm. Yeah, they died. Oh my goodness gracious, they died. I forgot that they died. That's really sad. They didn't deserve it. Even the king, who was a big douche, he didn't deserve it because, like, now he's all left alone. And his mother. <gasps> Sadness. I was, it, I loved the series overall. I think it was fantastic. I think there could have been a little bit more um, that could have been written. Especially about the Aspen and Lucy thing. And I wanted more Marley. I thought it was fantastic. So... I'm going to give it a rating and I give it a 4.7 out of 5. It was honestly such an enjoyable series and I've never read a series so fast. Um, I think that everyone should read it because it is so good and it's so fantastically written. Kira Cass is amazing. I want to go read all her other books. Haven't gotten to it, but it's going to happen then. But yeah, that is it for today. Give a like if you liked this, you liked the books, if you have read them, and comment down below what are your favorite series slash just books in general. Tell me what your favorite books are and maybe I'll read them and then I'll review them. And yes, I haven't read The Fault in Our Stars, so you can suggest that if you want because I haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be like one of those people that's going to go watch a movie before I read the book. But I will probably, I could do both maybe. Anyway, that is it for today. Love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. What is, what is, what is going on? Okay, we're done. Goodbye.